What's going on everyone? So today I'm gonna to be teaching you how to build your very own bait pen. What is going on everyone? So today I'm gonna to be teaching you how you can make your very own bait pen out of less than $50 worth of material. I've made a couple of these in the past and I just got asked if I could make another one so I thought I might as well show you guys everything you need and the steps to make these bait pens. So I just ran to Lowe's and got all the supplies I would need so I'll run through and show you everything you need. So I know this just looks like a bag of PVC parts right here and there's a ton of different parts you're gonna need. So what I'm gonna do is right here, I'm gonna list everything that I picked up today and everything you're gonna need to make these bait pens. So before I build any of these bait pens, I like to sit down and design how I want it to be. So I just go ahead and sketch out how I want the design to look. That way I can go and easily see all the different parts I'm gonna need. So this is gonna be an octagon shape on the top and bottom. It's gonna be about two feet diameter and two feet high. Whenever you're building a bait pen, you do not want any sharp corners in your design. That's why I like this octagon shape, because even though it does have these corners right here, when you put the mesh around it, it will just make it pretty much a cylindrical shape. The only tools you're really gonna to need to do this are pair of PVC cutters and a good pair of scissors to cut the mesh. So this is probably gonna be like a two day project. So today I'm just gonna go ahead and cut all the PVC and cement all the, the joints together to get the frame. And then I'll come back either tomorrow or the next day and then put the mesh around and actually finish it up. So the first thing I wanna do is cut out 12 10 inch sections of this PVC. So I'll take one of these 10 foot sections right here and start marking it up so I can cut it. So now that I got the PVC all measured out here, I'm gonna take the PVC cutters and cut it along here to get these 10 inch sections. There we go, got all 12 of these sections cut. These are gonna make up the sides of the octagon for both the top and the bottom. All right, so the next thing I need to do is cut two eight inch sections. All right, so next step is to cut six five inch sections. So the next one is now I gotta cut out two four inch sections. All right, so the last thing I need to do is four 12-inch sections. There we go. You got all the PVC cut that we're gonna need. But now, next step is to start puzzling all this together. Yeah, so all I'm gonna do is start following my little blueprint. I'm gonna start with the bottom section first since that's probably gonna be the easiest. Now I'm gonna go ahead and put the top together. Good thing I have a little extra, I just realized I have to cut two more five inch sections. Picked up one of the wrong elbows. Alright. So after my hours of carefully calculating everything so I made sure I didn't mess up, I messed up. <laughs> I have to run back to the store and pick up some stuff. I gotta get five more 45 degree elbows and I gotta pick up like a one or two foot section of PVC. So I'll go grab that and be right back. I am back from Lowe's. So I went ahead and cut everything and put it all together. So it's all connected right now, it's just not glued. So I'm gonna show you how it all fits together before I go ahead and glue it. Well here's the, the bare bones of the outside of the bait pen. So you can see on the bottom, we use the 10 inch sections for the side pieces and went ahead and put the elbow pieces on there. And then on either side right here, we use two five inch sections and then a little T to connect the middle support bar right here. So then we got another T in the middle. So this is 
Each one of these is a little 12 inch section. So we got the 10 inches here, five inches here and here, and then 12 there and there. So then you go up here and this middle support right here is CPVC. I like using this because if you want to take it out so you can collapse this whole bait pen down, it's really easy because it's nice and flexible. So I have a two foot piece of CPVC right here. And then on the top, it's the same design with the 10 inch sections right here. And you got the elbows with the part going across, the 12 inch sections here in the T, except on the top here, I also made a lid. So for the lid, what it is, is I use a T right here, but this main section right here is for three and fourth inch PVC. So this half inch PVC slides right in, so it's able to move up and down easily. And then I connect it, this is a half inch right here. So a little section of four inch PVC on either side. Then I got an elbow here with eight inches. And then right here, I got two pieces of three and three fourth inch long sections of PVC connected to a T with a little, little nub at the end. So we can have like a little tie off here so we can lock this closed. So now the next step is to go ahead and glue all the little joints together. I'm using this all purpose PVC cement for my, my joints and everything. So went ahead and glued all the little joints on here. This is the top piece with the, the lid that opens up and down. Got the middle support right there. And then the bottom piece. So tomorrow, I'm gonna come back and then put the, the mesh all on the outside of it. What is going on everyone? So day two, and we're gonna go ahead and put the mesh on the outside of the bay pen. So for this, all you need is a good pair of like scissors. I have these like garden scissors, a tape measure, and a lot of zip ties. All right, so the first thing we need to do is measure the exact height of this bay pen. And then we're gonna find the, the circumference around it. So we can go ahead and cut this out first and then kind of roll it around and then put the zip ties around the edges. So measuring from the very bottom to the very top, it's about 28 inches. So if anything, you want to give it a little bit of extra space, so that little bit is fine. All right, to figure out the circumference for this, what I'm gonna do is take some old fishing line and tape it around the edge, all the way around, and then give myself a little extra space. And now I'm gonna cut it and then see how long that length is. <laughs> hey, dude. So welcome to day three of this little project. Got the side all done, the bottom attached. Maybe need to add a few more zip ties. So I just need to put the, the top piece of the, the mesh on and also put the, the floaty around the edges here to make sure that this side stays floating up. So all I'm doing is measuring this out right here. See how long I need to cut the, the noodle. And by the looks of this, it looks like I need to cut 10 and a half inches so I need to cut four 10 and a half inches out of this section right here. So all I'm gonna do is 
take these four sections and zip tie them on the inside of these four different corners over here. So right here, where it's overlapped a little bit, on the inside, I'm gonna take some of these smaller zip ties and kind of close this inside gap shut so none of the bait fish really can get caught or like cut themselves right there. So I went ahead and zip tied this half of the bait pen. And then this is the top of the lid that actually opens up. This will open up right there. But what we need to do is we need to fold this over, or actually probably back under itself like that to give it a nice smooth edge right here so it's not super sharp like right here. Cause this is the spot where you're gonna be opening and closing, reaching your hand in there, maybe dropping like a net or a cast net in there. So you want to make this as smooth as it can possibly be. So I'm going to go ahead, fold it under, zip tie it all down, and then I'll show you what it looks like after. So now I'm gonna take this little like bungee cord ball thingy and I'm gonna attach it to the front right in front of the knob. So what you can do is you loop it around and then you can close your bait pen using that. Here, I'll show you. It'll be like that. So you can't really go to open it. So keep it nice and shut. I'll make it more professional looking than that. So here's what it will look like after you're done. Got a big old bait pen, big opening where you can reach in, get all your bait. It's not sharp right here at all. It's nice and circular in there, so there's no corners for your bait to hit and die on. And you can go ahead and close it right here with this little bungee. Keeps it closed right there. So all you really have to do now is just tie a rope to it and throw it in the water and fill it with bait. I'm gonna go ahead and tie some rope to the bait pen and just give it a little float test in my pool. We're gonna give the, the bait pen a good old float test. So all you do is just kick it in. I wanna grab the rope. <laughs> After we drilled a couple holes in the bottom of the, the PVC to let more water in, and then you got the little floaties that keep it upright, positioned right. You can just bring it over. Get all your greenbacks and pinfish that are in there. And that's how you make a bait pen.